One of the biggest achievements uh, by far, I think, by the Biden administration at this point is getting the infrastructure bill signed, uh, getting that passed. And, and now that it's here, one of the people who uh, really spearheaded the efforts to get it passed, uh, the Secretary of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, is hearing a lot of, a lot of buzz about some of it good uh, about the infrastructure bill, some critics of it as well, and also people talking about his future uh, in politics and perhaps presidential politics. So uh, we're going to bring in uh, our, look, we knew him when he was on the campaign we knew trail. Him back we spoke when. to him a lot. <laughs> uh, but now he is the U.S. Secretary of Transportation. So, Mr. Secretary, welcome back to TMZ Live. How are you doing? Thanks. I'm doing great. I'm loving this job. You know, uh, no transportation secretary has had a chance to do what we're about to do, uh, which is to take a, a, a huge investment. I mean, the most we've done, certainly in, in our lifetimes, and applied to making American transportation better. It's everything from ports to uh, to rail to, to roads and bridges, airports, and then uh, some other departments will be working on some really exciting work around water and internet infrastructure. So uh, I couldn't be more excited. It's, it's gonna be hard. I mean, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but um, I'm excited to be here and, and uh, uh, just thrilled about the moment that we have in front of us. So there's a lot of money on the line here uh, to you know repair you know a lot of things that have been neglected for decades. How do you go about making decisions on, you know, who's going to get it, how much it costs? It just seems like there are so many things that are in play here because I know that there is an equity part of this whole thing. How do you make this, these decisions? So the biggest thing that, that, that we have to do, I mean, we're talking about more than half a trillion dollars of taxpayer money, is to prioritize and, and lay out what we think the most important uses of those dollars are. Some of it's laid out in the law itself. Uh, and then a lot of that meets our, our priorities in the administration. So you know, what are we doing with these dollars? First of all, safety, right? The most important thing with any transportation system is that it works safely. And we're gonna be making a lot of investments on everything from, uh, from airports to, to you know, pedestrian crossings in streets to make them safer. Uh, a second thing that's really big is economic growth and economic development, creating jobs. You know, the jobs of actually installing the electric vehicle chargers or, or digging the subway tunnels or whatever the specific work is, and the jobs that are supported by just having access to better transportation where you live. Uh, another very big uh, concern and, and opportunity is around equity. You know, the, the, the truth is uh, dollars have not always been spent equitably in the past. And uh, you, you look at communities of color that are more likely to, uh, uh, for example, depend on public transit. It's one of the reasons it's important to make sure transit gets everybody to where they need to be. Uh, Latino community is actually more likely to experience health issues related to pollution from living next to ports. If we can make port equipment electric, it, it can literally save lives. These are the kinds of things we can do with attention to equity. Uh, you know, of course, Secretary, the reason that people making such an issue of equity is in the past when the government has uh, spent a lot of money building certain uh, roadways, certain highways, and they have gone places where it is caused, where the roadway has been, where the roadway was placed, um, have caused certain communities to be cut off. And so I think people are just worried that now the government's been given this huge check uh, to spend this money. Uh, everyone is concerned. And, I, and like you said, I, Harvey asked you how you make these decisions. Um, uh, what would you say to people in communities like that to make them feel comfortable that that's not something that's going to happen again? Um, that they're not going to be more cut off from resources that are really necessary in those communities right now. We're paying a lot of attention to this. The whole point of transportation is to connect. And yet sometimes we have cases where it's done the opposite, right? If there's a giant highway that cuts through your neighborhood, uh, that can be a real issue. I had one uh, mayor of a, a pre predominantly black community explain to me how, uh, you know, when, when a, an expressway came to her community, it got to where people in, in her community have an easier time getting to a city that's miles away than getting across town to go to uh, pick up groceries. So for the first time, this bill actually contains dedicated dollars for reconnecting communities that have been cut off by some of those uh, decisions that were made in the past. And we're just paying a lot of attention in terms of engagement. Uh, it's not gonna be me or, or, or any combination of people sitting here in DC picking and choosing where everything's gonna go. This has to come from the communities, from the mayors, from the states, uh, from the tribes. We're working a lot with Indian country. They have some of the biggest needs actually. Uh, and then making sure that we're helping. We're, we're not here to come up with all the answers. We're here to send out more of the resources to do good things. Okay, uh, two personal questions. Yeah. I watched the documentary on your campaign, which I thought was fantastic. Um, and I remember you saying, okay, well, it didn't work out this time. Um, that means there's a next time. 
Um, so is that next time still on the table? I sincerely don't know if I'm ever going to run for office again. Uh, you know, it, it, really? I'm very proud of the camp. Yeah, I mean, because you should only run if, if there is a moment that you think the, the, the only way or the best way to respond to it is to step forward. A lot of times in the past, I've decided to run for an office for that reason. A lot of times I've decided not to run for an office for that reason. But the biggest thing I would say is this. The whole point of campaigning is that if it goes well, you get to govern. And now we have this opportunity, everybody in this administration, this team that I'm part of, and definitely in my case, an opportunity to make the difference of a lifetime. I mean, to, to do things that America has needed for decades. And that, that's more than enough to take more than 100% of my energy and attention right now. And uh, frankly, I don't mind uh, that, that uh, politics and campaigns are on the back burner because I've got such an exciting body of work to do right on my desk, right on my plate, uh, right this minute. We gotta ask. How are the twins? Oh, it's, it's amazing. They are amazing. They, uh, they're just, everything people try to tell you about being a dad is, is true. Everything from the sleep deprivation to the, the just the love, the fact that, that you no longer get grossed out by, by being thrown up on. You're, you're just uh, so completely in love um, and, and, and completely terrified all the time, of course, because you're resp you know, responsible for, for these two tiny human beings growing and thriving. And we've already had some scary times uh, in, in the hospital with them, but they, uh, they are doing great. Um, they are healthy. They are putting us through our paces. Uh, Chastin and I can, can barely keep up, and uh, I just can't wait, to, uh, I can't wait to see them grow and you know, get to where we can talk about things like transportation. But right now, it's uh, mostly just uh, feeding, changing, waking, and sleeping. Well, congrats. All right. We haven't been able to congratulate you since, so congratulations. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I right. really appreciate the time, Mr. Secretary. Um, Looking we, forward to And uh, remember, what's... we knew you when. Just don't forget that. It's always good seeing you guys. Take care. Okay, thanks again.